Hi everybody! Well, I discovered that there was a tea tag on YouTube and I've been dying to do the tea tag. It comes from somebody named Veronica N. So, and it has 10 questions and I love tea. So this was a great opportunity for me to be able to share what I know about tea with you. And um, I'm going to get started by answering the first question. Do you like your tea hot or cold? Well, I like all kinds of tea. So um, I like it hot mostly though. Um, cold in the summer, and it's summertime right now, so I am enjoying really good cold tea. My favorite cold tea is a blend by a company called Teavana. It's called Youthberry Blend Tea. It's really good. And um, then I love the old-fashioned sweet black tea and just with in a nice glass with a lot of ice. So yeah, but I prefer it hot. And right now I have my hot tea and I'm right here. And this is one of my favorite hot teas. And you know, it's good. You can have hot tea anytime because hot tea, when you drink it, it can cool you off because of, it opens up your blood vessels and you kind of sweat a little bit and you sit on the balcony and let the wind catch you and then it makes you cooler. And then in the winter, it warms you up from the inside. So I think that's why I like hot tea the best. Question number two, do you like your tea strong or weak? It all depends on what kind it is. But I don't really like weak tea because it's just like drinking water. So I would have to say I let my tea bag steep for about three minutes when it's hot. And um, if it's like a chai, I don't let it steep too strongly. I don't like a strong chai because it gives a bitter taste. So you have to be careful with different types of teas not to let it steep too long. Um, if it's a white tea, then you don't let it steep as long as it's a darker tea because it tends to become bitter. So I would say it just depends on what type of tea it is. Loose leaf or tea bag is question number three. Well, I have, I'm very particular about loose leaf tea and I've kind of graduated from the tea bag, although it depends on what type of tea bag. If it's like your standard, ordinary paper tea bag, then I don't really use those tea bags anymore because it affects the flavor of the tea. I prefer loose leaf and here are some of my favorite loose leaf teas. Um, this is a loose leaf. Loose leaves, when you have loose leaves, you have to use what we call an infuser. And an infuser, you put the tea inside of here, the loose leaf tea in here, and then you pour the water inside and you kind of let it cook, that's steeping for a while, and then when the tea is ready, it's almost like having a mini teapot. It's kind of cool. Um, and then there, uh, I also like these types. This is a tea ball, and it's a blooming tea, so you can put it in a glass teapot, and it opens up, and the smell is wonderful, and the flavors are very good. It's usually a jasmine tea, and with a little sugar, it's incredible, and it's lovely to look at. So when I do do bag teas, I like to make sure that my bags are kind of, it, they're fabric, they're silky. So this here, this tea bag right here is, um, it's not made out of paper. And so the tea has, uh, it gets a chance to be infused in the water and it doesn't make the tea bitter. Number four, do you buy out or steep at home? Well, I do both. Buying out is fun because you get to go to tea houses and tea rooms and experiment and try the teas that are there at those tea houses that you can only buy there. For instance, I love to go to Tivana and I go and I enjoy their tea. And as well, I go to other places, other tea houses in the Los Angeles area as well as in my hometown. But I am a steeper at home. I love to have my own tea here. Um, I have a variety of teapots and teacups that help me to enjoy drinking my tea and making it fun at home. But 
going out with friends and um, sometimes I go out with my husband and we enjoy a cup of tea at the local tea house and just sit and chat. It's good to be outside the house and it's a nice getaway. Number five, what's my favorite cold tea? I think I already said that. It's Youthberry Blend by Tivana. It's really good and you can drink it without sugar and it's filled with nutrients. It has hibiscus and berries in it and it's really pretty. Number six, what's your favorite hot tea? Oh, my favorite hot tea is, it, it vacillates. Right now my favorite hot tea is uh, Harney and Sons Earl Grey, but I also enjoy Tivana's uh, Maharaja Chai Oolong. It's really good. And hmm, I just like chai tea, hot chai tea of any kind, it's really good. Number seven, when do you like to drink your tea? Well, in the morning I drink my tea and I make a lemon water type of tea and I put a little turmeric in it and lemon water and manuka honey and it cleanses my body. It keeps things, it keeps your pH system in balance and it also helps with your skin. So lemon water is really good and I make a nice little tea out of that and I get up and the first thing I do in the morning is drink that. And then around 11 o'clock, I have 11 Z's, and I'll have it with maybe an Earl Grey and a, a slice of uh, gluten-free toast. And then around 4 o'clock, I'll have a nice cup of chai tea or um, any other tea that I like during the day. And then at night, I'll have a cup of tea before bed, maybe some valerian or a nice quiet yellow um, version of golden milk tea which is made with almond milk and uh, water and turmeric and honey. Number eight, what do you like in your tea? Well, I like tea in my tea, but if it means like a sweetener, I love to have a little milk, steamed milk. I have a milk steamer in my latte factory and I steam my milk and I put it in various types of teas. I love an Earl Grey London Fog with a little lavender and that's with milk. Sometimes I even put some milk inside of my mint peppermint tea and make what I call a pillow mint tea. It's really good. And um, I like honey but only certain types of honey. Manuka honey and Turkish honey are really good. And um, I also really enjoy um, German rock sugar, which is absolutely wonderful because it's unrefined and it's really pretty when you put it in your cup. Have you always liked tea? Well, I haven't always liked tea. When I was a kid, there wasn't a wide variety. My grandmother only used to have Lipton and it was bitter because I would have to put a lot of sugar in it. And then they used to drink a lot of iced tea when I was a kid, but I always had a tea set. So I would put juice in the, in the cups. Um, I really became fond of tea as an adult. And I had friends who would invite me over for tea. And, and then I just became just a tea person. I, all the different things you could do with tea and share. After I read the book, book Two Cups of Tea, it inspired me to start sharing tea with friends. And my enthusiasm just grew after that. So I just, that's how I like it. Number 10, what is the tea that you recommend? I recommend any tea that you are going to like, that is going to be your favorite. I strongly recommend that you try every type of tea from different cultures and from different regions of the world so that you can find out all the different ways that tea is made. That's what I did. Um, some tea isn't even made from leaves. My, one of my favorites, rooibos tea, is made out of twigs. It's kind of like it's not leaves. It's made out of something different. So you never know. It's, um, it's a great tea. In Africa it's called bush tea. So you know you learn these things by just exploring and learning and going and buying and going to tea rooms and seeing what they make tea out of um, I recommend any tea that you are willing to try and make it your favorite so those are all my tea tag questions and um, if you liked this video you can like it and give it a thumbs up 
check out my channel to see more things that I do here on Sing Song. All right, that's been me, and enjoy your tea.